Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and we're not looking at it for any particular reason this morning. It's just one of my tanks that is nice to look at and doesn't have a whole lot of glare on it when I'm shooting video. So it's pretty easy to shoot some spur of the moment video like this. But I woke up this morning and I found a bunch of dead fish in one of my tanks, my quarantine tank. And I want to talk about why. And I suspect the reason why is Pima Fix. This stuff is a fish killer. I don't know why. I don't know why it's sold as medication, but it should, in my experience, be sold as something that you use to euthanize fish. Every time I have used Pima Fix, fish die. This stuff kills fish. Don't know why. I don't know what's in it. It says it's made from tea tree oil or bay leaf oil or something like that. I don't have my reading glasses on at the moment, so I wouldn't be able to uh, positively identify that for you, but it's made from some natural oil. It smells lovely. You could use it as aromatherapy. It's very enlivening. Uh, it wakes you right up. It's a nice, pleasant smell, but then you put it in your fish tank and you have dead fish the next day. I don't know why. So I've got a quarantine tank right now. It had a couple of rubber lip plecos that were suffering from ick, and it had three platinum guppies that were fine, but they came home in the same bag as the rubber lips, so they all went into the same quarantine tank. I had been treating them for ick, and the rubber lips were looking pretty rough. I didn't know whether they were really going to pull through or not, but they were still doing fine as of last night. And I added some Otocinclus to the tank, and just as a precaution, I really don't know why I did this, but just as a precaution, I added a half dose of Pimafix. A half a dose. And I woke up this morning and both the rubber lips were dead, which could be chalked up to coincidence. You know, they were, again, looking kind of rough. But all three of my guppies were dead, and they looked absolutely fine 12 hours previously. And oddly enough, all five of the Otocinclus, which I thought would be the most sensitive fish, all five of them are still alive and doing well, or looking okay at least. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened with the Otocinclus, but the... Uh, guppies died and then the I just noticed one of my fish in here actually has looks like some injuries on it and it distracted me for a moment that shiner right there does not look very good so anyway I'm not just basing this video on that one experience I've used this Pima Fix stuff three or four times in the past and every single time I've used it uh, the fish that I used it for died and then other fish that were in the tank that were not showing any signs of distress or whatever, but were just in the tank that was being treated, died. So I'm guessing that it's probably something similar to like the way clove oil uh, kills fish. It's got some kind of aromatic oil in it, and given the right circumstances or the right quantity of it or whatever, it just it puts the fish to sleep. So not really sure why, but this Pima Fix seems to do the same thing. So... Take this, you know, video with a grain of salt. I don't know why this seems to be the case. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I mean, they sell the stuff as medication. Lots of people buy it. If it just regularly killed everybody's fish, I don't know why they'd still sell it. And that's what leads me to keep using it. Every now and again, I'll be like, oh, I'll try that Pima Fix stuff. You know, I know it's killed fish every single time I've used it. But hey, you know, they sell it as medicine, so it must be okay. It may, must be something I'm doing, and every time I use it, I kill fish. So the only thing that this is ever going to get used for around here again is either aromatherapy. If I need a little wake-me-up, I'll have a quick little whiff of this. Or I will use it to euthanize fish if I run out of clove oil, because that's what this product seems to do. So if you know why or if you've got any ideas of what I'm doing wrong or why I kill fish every single time I use Pima Fix, then please let me know. Uh, or if you somehow are a rep from API that gets wind of this and you don't like me talking about how your product kills fish constantly, please explain to me why my fish die every single time I use Pima Fix. Perfectly healthy fish that were not suffering die every time I use Pima Fix, and it has never ever cured any fish I've ever used to treat that was suffering. They all also died. So that's my opinion of API's Pima Fix, and I'm not going to put a link down below to save you the trouble of purchasing it, unless of course you need something to euthanize your fish with. So that's my two cents this morning. 
uh, probably a little more agitated than I should be when I shot this video, but again, I just came down and got the lights turned on, and surprise, tank full of dead fish after using Pimafix once again, so I'm done, I'm not using this stuff anymore unless I need to kill fish with it, so thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you real soon on the next one.